We're building a gym. Times are getting tough. Uh, so, when the, the times get tough, the tough get, wait, when the going gets tough. I'm not very good with these proverbs, but essentially, we're gonna make the most of the time. Uh, everyone's in lockdown, everyone's sort of, gyms are shut. We're predicting six months without this, and six months is too long to go without doing the thing that we love the most. <laughs> so, we're building a garage gym. So we're gonna use this as a little documentation here. We've partnered up with Gym and Fitness um, who are helping us bring as much uh, of our standardized training as possible into this little garage space. So you have to bear with us while we um, clear this bad boy out, but you need part of the process. Let's go. Progress has been made. So I've just gotten back from uh, picking up some mats, which we had to drive all over the coast to get from several different Bunnings, but we've got mats in. So right now we are, um, well, the update is we've moved everything out. All of the storage stuff that was in here is out. We've put down mats now and we're about to rearrange the actual existing equipment that we have because we do have, as you can probably see here, an existing push pull up rack slash uh, squat rack. We're gonna move that to the side because we've got some benches, we've got a big cable machines, we've got a bunch of stuff coming in here. So now is the part where we do some rearranging, but it's coming together. It's a nice little start. And there's more space than we actually thought there was, which is cool. Okay, the very next thing we need to do now, we've got majority of the matches. Flame thought I was talking to him right then. <laughs> the very next thing we need to do here is we've got this little bit of space on the outside there. So I've just gone through and measured that and we bought excess mats so we can actually cut these down to size. So I've got my trusty Stanley knife and a measuring tape and a ruler and I'm gonna go and get cut while uh, Lane goes and does some homework. Okay, I don't know if you can see me there, but I hope you can. What I've done there is I've cut one strip uh, that is gonna be my guiding strip, so that is the correct measurements. I'll go lay it in place now, but if that is correct, what I now need to do is just line that up and then trace along it every time. Rather than having to do measuring and straightening out and getting the line correct, I can use that as my guideline. We're good to go. We have so much room for activities. So the, the, the space is now empty. Lane's got in early this morning and moved the stuff out. So the package is on its way here as we speak. Uh, I got a call this morning saying we have a ton of weights coming to us. So again, we don't know what it is, but we know there's a lot of heaviness coming. So um, now we just wait. Wait, weights. Ah. It's literally almost all weights. So, this is all plates. These are all dumbbells. We've got a rower, which is just there, a bench, and a few bars. It is all just heavy. So now we're gonna get to unpacking. So one of my hidden skills in life is my ability to do flat pack furniture. This is essentially like a more tech version of flat pack furniture, so I'm in my element right now. I will say this, Force has made it easy with their instructions because all the bits are kind of like stuck in parts, so I know like 
part one to two is in this, and part three to four is in there. So as you go through the instructions, it's actually pretty easy to put this stuff together. So if you're not very good flat back manager, or you get uh, easily frustrated with that, at least they've got you covered. Ah, I understand now. That's one more done. Now we move on to, well, I'll start assisting Lane in setting up the rower. We're back. The big bit arrived. Lane has just explained to me, I think you can see most of this here. This little box on top weighs 195 kilos. So we've got a job ahead of us now. This is the G12. This is probably the, the, the piece de resistance. Of resistance. <laughs> it's going to be a bit of resistance to put it in. Uh, this is the big bad uh, cable machine rig setup. So this is the big one. So right now our job is going to be move stuff out of the gym again, put this in the back and then start setting it up. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail. I'll show you a little bits and pieces but we'll talk through when this bit is done. Also look at Lane's fancy haircut. It's very fast. Hopefully it means we'll get this stuff done quicker. <laughs> Let's go. where we're at here so the worst part of building a little gym is just actually setting up the equipment and Lane gets to go inside now and leave it to me he's currently on uni assignment right now so I'll be in the little garage building for the rest of the afternoon and tomorrow <laughs> and potentially the day <laughs> just forever building oh boy all right let's go uh, we did not read the warning labels properly. Now the build begins. This is the slow draining part of the process, but it has to be done. Uh, so I'm going to begin by reading this bad boy, starting to put things in place. Everything is now unpacked and we can begin the build. Well, We now have a functioning Smith machine. So, uh, that was much harder than anticipated, as again, it was a two person job because I had to hold the counterweights, which slide up and down here, up, run the cables through, screw them in without letting the weight drop. But we did it, not complaining. Um, as I said, if you can get someone to help you with this, do it. <laughs> we have half a cable machine. Yeah, don't do this by yourself. <laughs> this sucks. But we're close. We're so close to having like a functioning cable smith machine. It's gonna get going for now. Time for some energy. Cheers. Thank you, working. Man, I suck at doing these updates. Okay, so uh, I've got all the cables now working on both sides. I've just put in the backing plate. I'm now installing hooks. We're gonna put plate holders and then the last few bits and pieces. The rest of the stuff's actually accessories, which is really cool. So, we're getting there. I'm gonna be too tired to train after this. We have a functioning Smith cable combo machine, squat rack, benching rack. It is built. The next step, now that I've done that, is to clean everything up, rearrange things, and then Lane and I will go through together and explain what we've got and why we've got it. So, I'm not going to make you watch this because this is going to be boring, but we'll just snap into the next bit. We're done. Well, we're done for now. This is... Welcome to the Garage of Gates. Um, Lane, are you happy? <laughs> yeah. I've just, I just found out three seconds ago I was in this video. Yeah, I just threw him in the deep end and didn't tell him we're filming right now, but essentially... We built this, Nathan. <coughs> I built this. Lane helped carry a lot of the heavy stuff in. Um, the hardest thing was obviously the G12. Now, as we said, we're going to go through and explain what we got, why we got it, and what we'd recommend for you guys at home because 
not everyone can afford to build an entire gym the way we have here. This is our livelihood. This is not just the way we make money, it's also the way we stay sane. So we wanted to get it done so. as properly as we possibly could. So I guess let's start with, do you want to start with the big thing or start with the basics? Start with the big thing and then we can work our way. I'm just going to do curves. Yeah, cool. Yeah, so obviously this is the G12. This is um, the big bad boy. I'm the big bad boy. That's what I meant to say, yeah. So as you can see that we've got, this thing is a cable machine. It is a multi-purpose chin up, pull up rack. It's got a Smith machine in the front there. It has attachments, which we've got on the floor here that click in so it becomes, I just put it the wrong way, becomes a squat rack, a benching platform. It's got long safety, long safeties, J-hook safeties, a leg press uh, attachment. attachment that you put on here, dip bars, lat pull down, so, knee locks, and the torsionator. If you were to look at like one piece of like proper investment, this is the way to go. I know that gym and fitness do have variances here as well. There is like a little bit lower down level. We went for the top one because we wanted as many options as we can. Um, we actually trained on this yesterday and did legs, like a full leg session for the first time. And it, it truly does hit everything. Like we did hamstring curls on a bench, attaching the cables to our ankles and the, the burn was real. Mm -hmm. Did leg press, we really did test it all out. So this is the kind of the, the statement piece, the foundation. This is where we'll be like doing all the main fundamentals off. So like, as I said, benching, squatting, um, you can do rack pulls out of here using the extended arms if you needed to. So you can do all your compounds there and then all the accessory work from the cables, which is really cool. So yeah, I think I think on if you check on the website, you'll see if I'm right or wrong, but it says something like 90 exercises can be done on here. I mean, you can see how many exercises yeah, there's a like shelf there. 30 or 40 on the back there. Um, and the stacks both go to 90 kilos, which is a lot of weight. Yeah, really heavy. And a lot of weight to try and put in there yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Just ask my fingers. Yeah, Lane crushed his fingers. We didn't film that, but Lane crushed his fingers putting that in. Um, now, you can see here as well, we've also got a stack of plates. This is one of the things that we've probably got almost too much weight for just Lane and I, but we wanted to think ahead for this one. So we've got uh, upwards of 600 kilos worth of rubberized plates there. Um, currently, that's a lot, a lot of weight, more than we need. Oh, I think it will remain more than we yeah. need for the foreseeable future. So, but that was again, something that we got there. The next thing for us to purchase for this is extra attachments for grip. Um, we talked about some pulling attachments. So we're gonna look at getting some of those. Again, gym fitness stocks, all that. So we'll join them from those guys. Cool. That's fantastic. We're Anything more you wanna to add to the G12? Sick. It is sick, it is sick. As I said, like the cool thing with this is you've got so many options there of grips. I think I might even be out of frame now, but for the actual pull-ups, so it means that we can now hang off the ground. The pull-up bar we had before was quite low, as you would have seen in previous videos. So it meant hanging-wise, Lane's knees are on the ground at all times. Not ideal. Cool. All right, let's talk about the bench. It's heavy duty. It holds big, hefty people like me. Yep. Incline bench. Super easy to adjust. Uh, seat adjust also. Wheels at the back. Just like that. Um, the best thing I think about this is the width. It's a little bit wider than a standard commercial, um, a little bit narrower than an actual comp powerlifting bench, which we don't have any need for. Yeah. Um, that width allows us to do a variety of movements and stay super safe and secure. Yeah, which is cool. I think it's a really cool thing as well. You can see at the back here, which I come down. I really should have taken this off the tripod. This, uh, point my foot, uh, that bit there folds up and down. So, do you wanna fold that down for us so I can see it? Which bit is with that? Yeah. So it becomes a decline bench there as well. So like this thing really does mean you can hit all of the angles you need while training. We should have done that for leg press yesterday. I've just thought of that. Um, <laughs> yes. So the bench was an essential. It means that we we're able now to use these properly. But we'll get to them in a second. Talk to me, or I'm going to talk to you about the trap bar. I've set this up wrong every time. The trap bar. Now, this is something that is probably, it definitely is a luxury for us. It's not necessarily something you, you must have to train with, but for us, it's something that we both utilize a lot, particularly for legs. Um, being able to do RDLs on this thing is incredible. Now, as you can see here, this has multiple handle attachments, which were a mission to set up, but now that we've got them, it means that there's different height advantages for it. There's also a handle at the top, so you can do suitcase carries, 
carries? Suitcase carries. Suitcase carries. Very good for you. It also makes it super easy to unload. Um, yeah, that's true. You just tip the tip the bar straight up like that, uh, and you'll be able to take your weights off because it stands up at the end. Yeah. So the purpose of this for us is, as you said, we won't be using this for RDLs. You can do this for deadlifts. Um, we can do like suitcase walks. You can use this as like a farmer's carry. So there's been plenty of Rose. options. Rose. You yeah, you could row with it. So there are plenty of options with this one. Um, shrugs. So it allows us to put a heavy duty thing that we can actually step in and out of, which is cool. We don't really need to talk about barbells. Barbells are essential. Obviously, for anything like squatting, deadlifting, benching, you want to have a good barbell. So we've got the zinc plated one, which is stored behind there right now. Um, let's talk about dumbbells. Yeah, so we got all the full set of hexes. We already had an existing set of 40s, so that dodgy 40 we'll just ignore. Um, dumbbells is an essential one. As I said, we, we plan on training at this for a while now. We don't know how long this is going to last. And we wanted to set up a place that we can create content for online for you guys in our own space without having to worry about other people. So this is why we've actually launched as many as we can. So we can truly teach you how to train at home. If you were to get dumbbells, you obviously wouldn't need a full set from ones right up to 50s. You could go up in like five kilo increments, um, or you could even just skip. So if you know you're never lifting 50s, or you're not lifting 50s in a while, because they're expensive, leave them for last. You can go for like a good set of 40s, a set of 35s, a 30, a 25, a 20, and then just drop straight down to like what we had was a 10, but there are some exercises you also want to have that in between. So dumbbells is a little bit of a harder one to get the right weights because you kind of need a whole variety of them hence why we've gone the whole set that's right now we also have kettlebells on the way but they haven't arrived yet with the lighter set of dumbbells obviously everywhere is sold out right now um the guys at gym fits were really good and they put a pre-order in for us so we're just waiting on them to arrive but for now this is enough we also have some bumper plates we didn't talk about that that's something that we already had ourselves so we got 25s, 15s, and 20s there in the bump plates. We've also got two heavy medicine balls. That's a 40 kilo, which is heavy as everything, and a 10 kilo right next to it. We've got parallettes over here. This is something we've been using for chest particularly. Uh, really good for decline or deficit push-ups. I use them for handstands as well. Good yeah, for shoulder work. Grabbing a set of parallettes is good for life, even post lockdown. Uh, really good for mobility and uh, body weight training stuff. So if you can get your hands on a set of parallettes, highly recommend it. Uh, I, for me, handstands is something that I said I want to build on in this lockdown. So the parallettes is how I'm going to be using that. Now that we have space in here, we're going to use those. So as I said, parallettes are a really good one. If you can get yourself some, uh, definitely would recommend that. Now, the last thing we have here second is... Last thing, second last thing, Oh yeah. Um, I don't know why I whispered. The weight vest, you can see it in the dark right there. That's a 30 kilo. 30 it's kilo. so heavy, so much. Yeah, I think we have like five weight vests in there. Yeah. And then out here with all the rubbish, which we've still got to clear out, and grenade shakes, we've got a rower. But um, that's pretty self-explanatory. Okay, so let's talk about at-home gyms. What would you recommend for people to start with? In the current climate, like honestly, whatever you can get your hands on that's going to add resistance. Yeah. Um, barbell and plates, definitely. Dumbbells, definitely. If that's all you can get, you, you can manipulate things enough around that to get a good solid workout in and make progress at home. Yeah, if you've been following us on social media, particularly on Instagram, you would have been seeing the amount of content we've created with ideas of at-home stuff you can do with literally like a set of dumbbells. We've made sure to keep it, even though these arrived a week ago, we've kept everything body weight just to demonstrate what you can actually do with that. Going forward, we will start adding in a bit more extra work in this as places start to reopen. But I'd say maybe two or three sets of dumbbells would be a great place to start. Get a heavy set, get two medium sets or a light set and a medium set, and that way you've kind of got all bases covered. The bench is probably the big one. I think that's one that people can really utilize. You can do a lot of stuff on a bench if you've got a bit of resistance. Um, it's also gonna mean like if you have a broom and you can put some heavy weights and some bags, you can actually do like makeshift bench press as long as you have something to lay on. Um, I know I've seen a lot of people using like chairs and couches and it just doesn't look safe. Yeah, we use the floor and pillows and stuff um, whilst we were waiting for the bench to arrive and it just wasn't the same. You can get a decent workout, but um, the stress it puts on your lower back is is pretty brutal, so yeah, wouldn't make a habit of it. The next thing we'd recommend is something to hang off. If you can get some 
particularly for back, back's a really hard thing to train at home. If you can get yourself a bar to hang off, um, you can get those like ones that fit into doorways. Those are super, super uh, useful. My doorways at home actually don't fit them. I don't have... Oh yeah, you got the wide Yeah, I've got weird old school doors that don't fit them, so I may not even store one in my house. But if you can get one of those, um, I have seen that there's still some of those available online. That's like 100% something I would recommend because back is something that's really hard to hit. And if you can do pull-ups, pull-ups are such a fundamental movement. And if you get really good at it, you're doing pretty well. Yeah, if you can, if you can bust out four or five sets of 10 pull-ups, you're gonna have a pretty impressive back anyway. So. Yeah, 100%. I, I credit a lot of my back shape and, and strength to growing up doing a lot of pull-ups and body weight stuff. So that would be an essential thing there. As I said, we've now got that as part of the G12, but we did previously have before a rack there that we bought. Um, I think that thing was like 150 bucks. Super easy. Um, again, it was gym and fitness. So we'll put the link down below. You guys can check out the website for gym and fitness. We want to thank them for helping us bring this video to you guys. Um, it's allowed us to now step up and create more content, which you'll be seeing weekly on this channel. <laughs> Peace out, y'all.